reminder that you can see the big match at 2.30. Farm. Hello. Well, now, those pictures of me on a farm some ten years ago serve to introduce this last edition of Farm Progress. And I can go a lot further back than that, to 1963, in fact, when I and my old friends Theo Dampney, already a bit thin on top, and Jack Hargreaves, with no beard then, uh, were interviewing Jack Eastwood of poultry fame. Now, for part one of this final programme, a look back at the 60s, I've called on some of the old hands who've called indeed for past and present services, and from me, a happy Christmas and a prosperous New Year to you all. Bye-bye. In our film at 3.40, a blacksmith orders a mail-order bride, but she gets lost in the mail. Sounds like the dispatch suffered a mismatch, but coming up next is the big match. Step ahead with a pencil mint, enjoy the taste of his Jewish beer mint. Be surprised by his stripes of peppermint. Step ahead with a pencil, pencil mint. Pacer's delicious chewy spearmint that's peppermint stripe for two mint freshness. Be surprised by stripes of peppermint. Step ahead with a pace of peppermint. Peppermint stripe for two mint freshness. The sun is out, the sky is blue, there's not a cloud. Getting away, there was plenty of indoor entertainment for the kids. We miss you about the last five years, haven't we, on the Christmas? Well, for the last five years? Yeah, about Christmas. Uh, so you're never at home? I mean, Christmas. I ain't been here until for about the last five years. Well, and what's wrong with the, <laughs> the British Christmas at home? Got the skiing in England. <laughs> Don't you ever have a Christmas at home? No. Why not? Uh, <laughs> All you do is sit around and talk to relatives. You might as well go and enjoy yourself. Well, there's nothing wrong with relatives, is there? <laughs> you just see some relatives we've got. <laughs> and what do the kids like about being away? Snow, 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 there's no Santa Claus abroad, it's only in Britain there's Santa Claus. That's not true. We always have Santa Claus everywhere. Yeah, Santa Claus yeah, last year we had Santa Claus twice. Well, Santa himself would probably agree. Nick Glass, News at One, at Luton International Airport. And for those of us not wafting away, the weather picture isn't too bright. Today's satellite picture shows large areas of cloud over Britain, and it's been snowing in many areas this morning. The RAC say it's a white hell in Kent. The weathermen, however, say the snow should gradually die out, but it will stay cold. Now, City News, the stock market is ending the shorter trading week quietly. At midday, the FT30 share index was up 0.4 at 518.1. Over the week, however, that's a fall of 3.2 compared with last Friday's close. On foreign exchange markets, the overseas value of the pound has improved. This morning, against the world's main currencies, it was worth 90.6% of its 1975 value, compared with 90% a week ago. And that's the news at one on Christmas Eve. Thank you again for your cards and good wishes. And to those of you who've written to ask why we aren't smiling more, I have to say that few of us at ITN can remember a Christmas where the news has been so bleak. The many without jobs, the deadly weather, the cruel sea, the struggle to keep alive some basic freedoms in Poland. 
The wish of a happy Christmas for everyone, not just in this country, has never been meant more. Nice words from ITN. Well, now the news from the South. Staff at a cosmetics firm at Storrington near Worthing. I promise we might shame them into decorating the studio. It's all hired. Never mind. Tonight we pay a visit to that scarecrow, Wurzel Gummidge, who's seeking his fortune on the streets of London. And we visit a hospital at the end of this year of the disabled person. A young girl tells us what it means to her. We also have a carol, a little Dickens, a look ahead to what's on. But first, the regional news from Roger Livingstone. Roger. <laughs> 